October 17, 2018. October 17, 2018. October 17, 2018. Happy birthday! Last night I had a dream where the members of my family gathered around the table in a house and were dressed like it was the 90s. We're all the age that we are now. But everything around the house was as if it was the 90s as well. And we gathered around the table like we were at a funeral. But it, the only thing we were mourning was the past. And everybody felt it. I was in and out most of the night. I was in and out of sleep most of the night. You ready to exercise one thing? I want the windows covered when you say, but you can let the sun in. So, I was sleeping like I usually do in bed, comfortably, when suddenly you start drawing my face on all my face, like you massaging or something weird, and then my hand and my arm, and that woke me up, and then I couldn't sleep anymore for like three hours at least. Last night, I dreamt that I was cooking tofu, and it's for this reason that I decided to massage your face. Um, oh, I'm um, I'm considering making this day movie into a movie made in a day. So I really we can. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of gonna try to do normal things in the day and just be spontaneous. Going up here. Look at those colors. Tell me about your nightmare. No, 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 now I have new hair and the uh, outside and the uh, You had a nightmare that you didn't have any hair? No. Yeah. In your dream. Tell me about your dream. It is my eyes and my teeth. No, no. I mean my nightmare. My teeth is a nightmare, Sammy. Tell me about your dream. I dreamt that we had planned the entire trip to Mexico, but then all of a sudden we realized that we didn't account for the kitten because we forgot our kitten and that uh, our kitten was definitely going to starve to death in the three months we would be gone. Um, I was just going to try and edit it a little bit throughout the day. Um, but I figure we can go outside for a little bit and uh, maybe go to the coffee shop. And that's it. It's almost two o'clock. And I really don't feel like working on the film anymore. Uh, I seem to have fallen into quite a depressive state. And I just went and laid down in the room for nearly two hours. And just can't seem to function very well. Kava, Kava is trying to motivate me to uh, finish the project. Um, I might be working.
while I was laying in the room, I was looking at the bookcase, and I was thinking about how when I was a kid, I don't remember the colors being so vivid. And at some point in my life, technology coincided with my memory. So now when I think about being a kid, the colors are washed out and it's almost framed in the TV aspect ratio of 4-3. I think a reality that we have to face is that it's always going to be like this. But it's hard to face it. That who, who we are as people will never be accurately, accurately represented in our art because our art takes too long to make and we, we, we change more than we think we do. Yeah, I've definitely felt very sensitive and watching Forgotten Colors was difficult because, I don't know, the people that, that review it on online and talk about it online it builds you up and then you watch it and I'm, I'm just like oh, I don't know it doesn't I just see mistakes and I don't understand how anyone could like it yeah that's true I I feel bad that I haven't released any, anything for a while it feels like I'm not doing anything I don't feel very confident that this is all leading somewhere right now. It feels hopeless a lot of the time. I guess I'll just click around and see what happens. Maybe something happens. The good thing is I'm only really beholden to myself with this. I haven't talked about it with anyone but you. So, if it fails, it fails. <laughs> hey, Wednesday. Do you want to play some music? Do you want to play guitar? I'm sorry. Hold on, I want to record the birds. Huh? I want to record the birds. think about things the most when I'm outside with Wednesday. Seeing her, watching her run around, reminds me how simple the truth is. I'm trying to go outside more. So, I think about these things in the day instead of at night when I'm trying to sleep. Maybe it helps. Wednesday has ran up and down the same steps for maybe 20 times. And she doesn't show any signs of stopping. over my child when I feel like I'm wearing these color shoes. Wednesday found a circle of bricks and she's running around in a spiral and it's broken off everywhere. And there's a man hanging a dog poster on a telephone pole. Wednesday, where do you want to go? I need to get up here. Wednesday's running up a perfectly shaped hill. But if I should show myself talking to this device at one point. So, here I am. 
I'm chasing the other down and kill them. I'm so happy again. Oh, really? Wednesday and I are sitting on a grass hill mound together. Sometimes I think about aging and death a little too often. I should sit on the grass more often because nobody ever aged laying in the grass. Maybe you should run away, Sammy. Maybe you should run away, Sammy. Maybe you should run away. I'm trying not to think now. found an old TV, probably from the 90s, somewhere in the middle of nature. Okay. Almost like my dream. A grave for the past. I'll follow you Wednesday. Wednesday, I want you to know you're the secret ingredient to true happiness. Did you know that? Yeah. Hmm? I should do that and then the happiness. I have no idea what you said. I can't be scared because they're happy. That is the secret ingredient to true happiness. Wow, Wednesday look a family of nice. Oh my god. There's like a million of them. Hey, God. Hey, Wednesday, are you going to go brush your teeth? Yeah. I don't know when to brush. Hey, Wednesday, which book is that? It's a fairy book. Okay, Wednesday. Buenas noches. It's a fairy book. Buenas noches, Annie. How was your day, Carla? Too long. So, Carla, October 17, 2018 is almost over. What do you think about that? Then... <laughs> Good riddance. How do you How do you feel about uh, life right now? Mostly sleepy, a little scared, excited, and terrified. How do you feel about life in regards to being with Wednesday and Nemo? would come back in time to me now, I would hope it would tell me, or I would tell myself, that it's worth it and I should just keep going. You know, when I live my life and it's hard, you know, life is hard and living life is hard and I run around struggling and feeling bad about situations. The thing that comforts me is if I would have a guarantee that whatever struggle I'm going through is going to be worth it in the end for some reason. And that's why I wish my future self would tell me that. Oh, yes.